Mr. Speaker, at the same time that job providers and workers across this great nation have sacrificed in this very difficult economy, the federal government has exploded in growth. And the cost of this growth in federal employment has been passed along to those very same hard-pressed taxpayers and job providers through higher taxes as well as increasing our national debt. This week's UCUT proposal calls for overall federal employment to be reduced to 2008 levels. And this is for civilians only. It does not include military or Homeland Security or the Veterans Affairs. This very simple step would save taxpayers $35 billion over 10 years. Mr. Speaker, each and every week, House Republicans have asked the American people, through the UCUT program, to bring to the floor literally tens of billions of dollars of spending cuts. And today, we stand up here yet again asking our colleagues across the aisle to join with us to answer America's call to put an end to out-of-control federal spending. Today's cut will end the influx of more civilian government workers on the taxpayer's dime, and it will reduce the expansion of big government. And that, Mr. Speaker, is what Am the American people are asking for. However, while the Democratic leadership continues to pile more debt, more and more debt, on our children and on our grandchildren, Republicans, however, have been very specific by bringing specific spending cuts to the House floor in an effort to restore fiscal sanity. Unfortunately, our Democratic colleagues have absolutely refused to join us in this effort. And we ask our colleagues once again to join us to reduce this out-of-control federal deficit and cut federal spending now. Mr. Speaker, House Republicans have been listening to the American citizens. And I ask my Democratic colleagues to do Please. the same. I yield back.